ceramic speed driven drivetrain. So unless you've been living under a rock for the last like four months, you probably wouldn't know much about ceramic speed's new driven drivetrain. Now, it looks very interesting, this whole machinery, and it looks very similar to what they used to have back in the day. So anyway, we've got lots of videos, which are obviously very nice to watch. So here's the drivetrain. We've got some aero testing. Obviously, that's very important for your drivetrain. Uh, but the whole goal of this is to have 99% efficiency. So at mm, current, the average drivetrain is about 97 to 98% efficient. Obviously, that depends if you have your oversized pulley wheels and all the rest of the stuff that Ceramic Speed try and sell you. Um, so here we can see some wind tunnel testing. They've got sort of a mannequin on there. Hambini isn't happy about that wind tunnel. But, you know, we'll, we'll say there's some savings to be had, which, you know, it could be believable. Um, so they obviously say, you know, it's like 3% more efficient, but that's just of the bike. And Shane Miller saying how he got those abuse. So anyway, all of this looks cool, but at this moment in time, until today, um, you couldn't actually shift on the gear, or there looked like there was no mechanism to shift. And I was still not sure if that's completely true, but it is. Very, there's some very exciting developments. So it wants to have 99% friction and creating half the less friction in market. Again, these things are annoying the way they, they market themselves because half the amount of friction, but that might only go from like, two watts to one watt so it's you know slightly disingenuous here it's it, they they market it they're very good at marketing and this is their little so it's like a two minute long video so who wants to watch two minutes um probably won't watch my videos for long on that but anyway so here we go watch this watch this watch this watch this watch this oh it shifts i mean we'll, we'll watch this again but just watch we hadn't seen a shift so obviously it's driving on driving on driving on driving on there we go shift so obviously the future is shifting. Wait, no, no, the past has been shifting. Campagnolo created the derailleur in like 1929 or something ridiculous. I mean, the old boy at Campagnolo sorted us out. But I think what's interesting, so the way it works basically is um, you get this thing, sort of like a bevel gear, but not exactly because it doesn't have teeth in it. And it rotates that. And obviously, you know, it's air and all the rest of it. You know, the exact mechanism is hard to explain for a person like myself who's not a professional in mechanical engineering. But you can see here, it's trying to show how efficient it is. This is the test they said it's on road around a velodrome, 45 kilometers an hour. The future is driven and all that stuff. So pretty exciting. Like, will we see like, I mean, to be honest, if we think about it, it's going to cost like $20,000 minimum, potentially more. So the only people I can imagine are going to buy it straight away will be World Tour teams. Don't see any of them buying it yet because there's too much to be lost in a crash, etc., etc. The team I think could buy it potentially would be a team like Team GB for the Olympics, if, and this is a big if, if it can handle the huge torque that track riders, like even Team Pursuit riders put a lot of torque. And, you know, if they, Cervelo have designed a T5, which is what Team GB ride, and, you know, maybe they can do that. I couldn't imagine any other governing body have enough money to spend it, to buy it, sorry. So maybe Team GB. I mean, what would be really cool is if they, like, gave it to KGF, or, sorry, have what bike, and then they broke all the track records, like, that would be pretty sick if they did that, but I don't think they will. But anyway, what are your thoughts of the drive train, the driven train? You know, obviously it's a, most of the stuff they do is sort of, in my opinion, completely superfluous and irrelevant, like their oversized pulley wheels. I mean, they look cool. How much watts do they save? People swear by them. People think they're a complete scam. I'm not sure. I think waxing chain is probably good, but I don't know. 99% efficiency sounds pretty nice, and apparently it's more aero, but 3% off a bike is like not much. But anyway... It can shift now, so that's pretty revolutionary, and I'm very excited to see where this comes. So anyway, just watching, hope you did enjoy, and uh, let me know your thoughts on Ceramic Speed's driven drivetrain.